So this is by far the beefiest electric bike that I've reviewed so far. This is the Ad Motor Wild Tan M5600 electric bike. And this thing is a monster, as you can tell, just by the way it looks. And this is a hunting e-bike. So basically they market it as a electric bike that's made for going off-road and is great for hunters trying to get to maybe their uh, deer stand or just go out to a location out in the woods. And you want something that's going to be quiet, but also rugged. But you can also use this in the city or on bike trails as well. But this is an electric bike that's really made for getting down and dirty with. And so this bike has a thick aluminum alloy frame that makes it look like a tank compared to other e-bikes. And it is about 78.5 inches long and also has like a 34 inch stand over height. So this means when it comes to storage or putting this thing on a bike rack, you may have some finessing that you might need to do with it. But especially with the stand over height, look, I'm six feet tall and I still feel when I'm at a red light or I'm just taking a break that I'm definitely not gonna be sitting on the seat on my tippy toes. I need to move forward and stand up right in front of the seat. And I think that's going to be the case for most people. And so I can definitely see this bike being intimidating for short people. And I'm not saying it can't work for you, but even for me, it took me a couple of rides to get comfortable with the bike, especially when getting on and off of it. But it is a bike that's made for going off roads, right? So I really like the fact that most of the cables are internally routed. And so this gives it a clean look, but also it's good for going into the brush. And again, this is made for hunters. So you want to make sure you don't have a lot of cables sticking out that can get caught up on things. And then also you do have a front headlight, which is decent. And then also you do have uh, not an integrated tail light, but you do have a tail light that you can take on and off and you do need to recharge the battery for this. And speaking of the seat post, you can raise this one up and down to get a desired height. And also the seat itself is super comfortable for a stock electric bike seat. A lot of times companies kind of cheapen out on them and send you something that's kind of hard, but this one was comfortable for many miles. And so the handlebar grips are comfortable. You also do have a twist throttle to accelerate. And then also you do have a nine speed Shimano derailleur on this thing. So you have nine speeds to be able to shift through and that's great for getting up hills in the lower gears or if you're on flat land going into the higher gears and this is one of the nicer ones that I've had on this e-bike and especially for the around three thousand dollar price tag you want to make sure you do get something nice on it but I love the fact that you can use your index finger uh, to go up in the gears and then you can use your thumb to go down in the gears now for this price range I would like to see a horn but this bike does come with this bell that gets the job done and this also does have a five inch lcd display that most of the time was good but i did find that when it got to the low battery warning which was uh, 10 percent and below it turned from white to red just for that battery indicator and that made it pretty much impossible to see in direct sunlight. So when you get down to 10% and lower, you're definitely gonna be checking your battery a lot. And I had to actually pull over and put my hands over the screen to do that. So if they can just change that in a software update to just stay white the whole time, I would be happy. But if I have to say the two things that really stand out on this bike are the front and the rear tires. I mean, these things are thick. So they're 26 by four and a half inches and they are puncture resistant. And these things really make you feel like you can just float over any type of terrain. In this particular scenario, I was riding this bike a lot after it snowed out here in St. Louis. So the ground was very slushy and just kind of just soggy with that wetness. Um, these tires did a pretty good job at allowing me to feel like I had enough traction, especially when I'm going up and downhill. And so the tires are good, but the fenders do need some work. So you do get front and rear fenders, but they're too short and also too high up. And I found myself still getting splashed with mud and water and stuff when I was riding on this bike. And so this is my vantage point when I am riding the bike and I can't even see the front fender, but I can definitely see that mud and that snow splashing up in my face so definitely I would probably upgrade the fenders on this myself uh, but that's one recommendation I would make to the company just to make the fenders a little bit longer but besides that my riding experience with this bike was really positive and it's just reassuring to know that I can go from riding on a hard bike path to going off-road and especially going up hills with no problem and that's good especially because this bike does have an a thousand watt Bafang motor that is a mid-drive motor so it's centered in the frame of the bike so this means that it's going to be able to distribute that power a little bit more evenly and because because this motor does peak out, I think around 12 to 1300 watts, you have enough there to be able to get you out of a lot of situations. And this bike doesn't have a rear suspension, but it does have an air fork front suspension that is adjustable so you can lock it and unlock it. And it does have 120 millimeters of travel. So I would like to see a rear suspension system on this bike, but because the seat is comfortable and the front suspension is pretty good, it definitely doesn't feel uncomfortable to ride. And this bike does have a 48 volt, 17.5 amp hour Panasonic lithium ion battery 
that can get you up to 60 miles for the range. And so the range will be dependent on your weight and also the terrain. But I did find that this battery did last me a lot in my riding situations. And the good thing is that this battery is removable. So you can just use the key to be able to unlock it and take it out. And so that's great because this bike is pretty big and it does weigh around 70 pounds. So this isn't a bike that people are going to be carrying up and down stairs. But the battery does also have a USB type A port on it. So you can charge up your phone or something when you are out and about. And what else? What else? Oh, this bike does have five levels of pedal assist. And it does have an integrated speed sensor too. So this allows this bike for its size to be a very smooth transition coming from a complete stop to getting up to speed. All right, so right now I'm about to do a speed test. Now I already did one using pedal assist level five and I was able to get up to the advertised 28 miles per hour top speed. But now I'm just gonna be using the throttle only. I'm sticking with pedal assist level five because depending on the pedal assist level is how much power you're getting with the throttle. So of course I want maximum power. So I'm going with pedal assist level five. So let's get this thing going in three, two, one, boom. All right, we all just start here. And we're already at 10 miles per hour, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, and 19, 20. And I do weigh about 220 pounds right now. My bag, my camera bag is probably adding an additional 10 to 12 pounds too. So anyway, right now we're at 25 miles per hour, 25.8, 26, 26.3. And on my GPS app on my phone, we're on, uh, we're at about 25. So it's about off about a mile between the two, but right now we're at 26.5. And I think that's gonna be the speed we're getting just using the throttle only. And I'm not on exactly all the way flat land, so give or take 0.5 miles per hour. It's close to that 28 miles per hour, so I'm happy with that. And since I'm out here, might as well do a quick little brake test. So I'm gonna slam on the front and rear hydraulic disc brakes in three, two, one. All right, and I actually laid off a little bit there, but yeah, these brakes are pretty solid. And some bonus information here is that the kickstand is adjustable, so you can adjust the lane angle. The wiring that I talked about before is water resistant, and this bike does come in three different colors. So I have the volcano ash color here, but it also comes in black, and also this cool camo color to help you camouflage yourself out there in the woods. So with this bike being over $3,000, it is made for a specific audience. Somebody who wants to take this to get down and dirty with, I keep saying that throughout this review, but this bike is made for off-roading, it's made for a hunting bike, but I did have some fun riding it in the streets, and I Feel like it is good in all different types of terrain but at the end of the day if you're looking for the monster truck of electric bikes this is the one especially if your wallet can handle it all right so this wraps up this review of the ad motor wild tan m5600 electric bike i'll leave a link down below in the description of this video click on that link to get more information about this bike and also pick up one for yourself and be sure to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already make sure you hit that notification bell and also leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about this bike but for right now i am out of here thanks for watching this video and i will Catch you later. Peace. <laughs> I was trying to walk off cool and I tripped over the pedal. <laughs>